everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna film two videos so be prepared. I'll be in this lovely outfit. Mm -mm, what? And this hair? Is that just a messy bun? And sure is. This is for the next two videos. Um, I might split this up. I'm trying to film today how I have my makeup like in my life right now. But the problem is it's not very good because <laughs> it's okay. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I have some makeup in the basement, I have makeup in the bathroom, and then I have makeup in this room. So it like doesn't really make very much sense. I might try and condense that and see how that works out for me before I film that video. Um, there's just no space for my makeup in this room, my filling room where I normally have it. You know, it's normally in, in the bookcase behind me, but this is like, this is like the game room and where all the books are and it's much smaller than my old room. So like, it's okay, but I just gotta figure that out. So look forward to that video. But let's get into what this one's about because I'm doing my update for my 2020 Lip Project Pan. You guys know, uh, cause since you have lived 2020 with me, we all haven't been wearing a whole lot of lip products for obvious reasons. <laughs> but I do have some progress to show you and I met both of my goals. So I have 32 lip products in this project. I have previously used up seven and I decluttered two of them, so I got rid of nine so far out of my collection. Of course, my goal was 20. That's not gonna happen since we are in November. Uh, we are very close to Thanksgiving. <laughs> American Thanksgiving, US Thanksgiving, not Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, but I do have two more empties, yay! So that brings my empty total to nine. Uh, so let's show you the two that I used up. I predicted this was going to happen, and it's true. I used up the NARS Rakugian Lip Pencil. That is what she looks like. Um, this was kind of weird. It was funny. It started like crumbling at the very end. Because I don't know if you can see. Do you see that plug in there? It's an interesting plug for the bottom of uh, a lipstick, but that's what it is. I guess this was going to be gone, and it is, and I'm very, very happy about that. The other one is what I've got on today. I technically still have like a use out of this <laughs> and I will go ahead and use that um, probably in like an hour. <laughs> but since I'm filming this today, right now, <laughs> just know, yes, I have like a use left out of this, but I'm calling it, this is a Clinique Crayola Chubby Stick in the shade Wild Strawberry. I was there last month and now, do you see, I have like a use left out of it. Maybe two. I can apply right now. Mm, I love these. I love these, you guys know I had a whole collection of them. I've been working through them. I think I still have like one or two left. So they might be in my 2021 <laughs> lip product use up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use up 21 lip products though, guys. Can we be real here for a second? <laughs> 10 to 20 is an okay goal because I can put, you know, like minis in there and stuff, but anything over 20, wow. <laughs> if you use that many lip products in a year, let me know down below. Can you use up like two lip products a month? Because I'm impressed. Also, are your lips chapped? Just wondering. Should you be drinking more water? Just wondering. <laughs> you know, maybe I should put in some clear, like, like lip balm and stuff. I don't actually normally put in lip balms in this project, but no, it's gone. I'm excited about it. I like it. Chubby sticks are really nice. This holiday season, I don't know if you guys have seen, they did come out with like the chubby stick collection of like minis. If you're looking for a tinted lip balm, I recommend it. However, Clinique is not cruelty free. So just keep that in mind as you go through. It is well worth the value. I go through, I was thinking I was going through one of these like every two and a half months when I was working on them full time. I mean, it does look like it took me about two and a half months to go through this, if that's one month, and that's, you know, things like that. But I was using other things. Um, I think they're good. They're some of my favorite chubby sticks. Just throwing it out there. If you like that form and you like tinted lip balms, they're a good thing to check out. Then this month, I was like, oh, I'm going to go back to some lipsticks I've been using before, but I just haven't been feeling lipstick. It's just... With masks, lipsticks are just a hot mess. Like, do you ever get it where you put on your lipstick and then it like smears over your face as you like breathe and talk and it's like moving and you're like sweating? Oh. So, instead of going to liquid lipstick, 
I went to lip gloss because what I do is I apply it in the morning and then like right after I eat breakfast I apply it and then by the time I put on my mask it's kind of worn off because I find lip glosses only last an hour maybe two hours maximum you know so you can apply it let it wear off put on the mask when you take off your mask apply it again when you're done with work or whatever and then it's dinner time <laughs> so it's been working really well for me to do it like that and so the two lip glosses I have been using. This is the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss. They do not make these anymore, but this was in the shade Birthday Girl, Birthday Babe. I got this as a birthday gift from Ulta way too long ago, but I was at that red line and I'm at that black line, so pretty good use I think in a month. Um, I don't know if I'll finish this in December. <laughs> There'd be a lot of gloss for you to go through in the next 30 days before I film the end of this, but you know, if I get to the moxie part, if I get through the word moxie, I think I'll be happy. You never know what might happen around the holiday time. And then I've got Buxom. This is the White Russian. No, this is the shade Dolly. Um, definitely darker than White Russian. I was there and then I was there. So clearly this has been in other Project Pants, but I started the year off there and I haven't really used it yet, so I am there now. And this I should be able to use up... Um, Technically, you know, you can see what I used in a month, so it should take me two months to use it. But I'm going to make this a focus now. I was clearly trying to use the two other lip products, but this is where I'm at. And I only used four lip products this month. That's it! <laughs> Not too much, but I think with the year it's going, I'm still really happy. Like, I'm still working through products. I'm still getting on my collection. I cannot buy any lip products. <laughs> <laughs> from here on out because I got so many left over <laughs> that I haven't even used yet. I might roll most of these products into my 2021 lip product just so I can like, you know, use them up. Um, that wasn't my goal. I was kind of thinking, you know, in June what I want to do about this project and I was thinking, you know, I should just use my most expensive lip products. So I might do that too, but then all my drugstore will go bad. <laughs> But nevertheless, we are well on our way. I'm hoping to get at least one more empty out of this project by next month, aka the, the Buxom Dolly Lip Gloss. I'd really like that to be gone, but we will definitely see what happens. Now that I'm wearing makeup more often, maybe something will change. Um, it's going to be hard to go through an entire lipstick in a month, but maybe I'll get use out of something else. We shall see what happens. There were many lipsticks in this project that I started but didn't finish. Um, just because of time or needs or wants. <laughs> but that is where I'm at. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy panning!